welcome to another RMS support tutorial video. Today's topic is how to add pay activities. In this lesson, we'll be discussing the layout of the pay activities module, adding pay activities, and linking those pay activities to CLINs, features, and subcontractors. Per FAR Clause 52.232-5, Contractors must submit an itemization of the amounts requested to the government for payment. This is done in RMS by first adding all the pay activities that will be included in that itemized invoice prior to creating the first invoice, or progress pay. There are two ways to add pay activities in RMS. The first is to manually add them, which is what we will be focusing on for this training, and the second is through importing an SDEF file, which will be discussed at the end of this training. As you can see, we've already opened up the contract and we're going to navigate to the Finances tab to open up the Pay Activities module. Inside of the Pay Activities, you will see that there are four tabs that run across the top labeled Activities, Cleanse, Contractors, and Features. Each of these tabs displays activities based on the title of the tabs. So the Activities tab will show either all the activities or activities not linked to Cleanse or linked to Invalid Cleanse. The Cleanse tab will show all the cleanse, balanced and unbalanced cleanse. A cleanse is considered balanced when the sum of activities equals the sum of the cleanse. It also shows how many activities are linked to those cleanse. You can also see which activities are linked to those cleanse by double clicking on a cleanse to open it. From here, you can double click on any activity to edit it. Editing will be discussed later in this video. Next, click the back button to return to the pay activities main view. If you have any cleanse that are unbalanced, those will show a status of unbalanced in red. The Contractors tab will show all the subcontractors and the prime contractor only show which contractors are linked to pay activities or which contractors are not linked to pay activities. If you have a contractor that is not linked to pay activities, it will display the contractor's name in red until they are linked to an activity. How to link activities to contractors will be discussed later in the video. You can also see which activities are linked to those contractors by double-clicking on the contractor's name to open it. From here, you can double-click on an activity to open it for editing. Then click the back button to return to the Pay Activities main view. The editing will be discussed later in the video. And last, the Feature tab will show all of the features in the contract, only features that are linked to an activity, or only features that are not linked to an activity. You can also see how many activities are linked to that feature, and which activities are linked to that feature by double-clicking on the feature to open the activities. Again, by double-clicking the activity here, it will open up an edit view, which will be discussed later in the video. Next, we will discuss how to add and edit a pay activity. To edit the pay activity, go to the Activities tab, and then simply double-click on any of the activities to open the Activity Edit View, which we will see shortly. To add, Click the Add button. Now, enter the activity number. Note, this number cannot be edited once you click OK, so make sure the activity number is correct prior to clicking OK. After you have entered the number, click OK. This will open up the Activity Edit view. From here, you can add the description, link the activity to either a subcontractor, feature, work category, and or CLIN. You can also add the activity amount, and the quantity, if not linked to a CLIN. The other fields are the duration, phase, and area. These fields provide more information for the activity and can be filled out if required. Discuss with your government representative for requirements. To link a subcontractor, click on the blue tile to open the contractor subcontractor lookup field and select the subcontractor or the prime contractor and press OK. To link a feature, click on the blue feature box. Select the feature to link and press OK. To link a work category, click on the work category blue box, select the work category and press OK. And to link a CLIN, click on the blue CLIN box, select the CLIN to link and press OK. When you add the activity amount, you will notice that the bottom summary section will change based on the amount you add. If you have a red number in the variance box, this is an indication that the sum of activities attached to the linked CLIN do not match the total of that CLIN. You will either need to add or remove money on activities to ensure the variance is zero. Note, 
If there is a variance on any of the cleanse, you will not be able to start a progress payment until those have been resolved. Notice that when an activity is linked to a CLIN, the quantity amount is automatically set by the CLIN. Next, we'll discuss how to delete activities. Click the back button to return to the activities main view. To start, select an activity you wish to delete. Next, click the delete button. You have the option of deleting a single activity, multiple activities, or all activities. Click delete record to delete the activity selected. Similarly, clicking the Delete All will delete all the activities. By selecting Enable Multiple Delete, you can then select multiple activities using the checkboxes on the left side. Then select Delete again and choose Delete Selected Activities. Note, if a CLIN, contractor, or feature do not show in their respective tabs, then they will need to be added in RMS. Please see the links in the description box below for instructions on adding missing CLINs, contractors, or features. The second way to get activities added, and the most convenient, is through adding an SDEF file. After the SDEF has been uploaded and imported, if properly formatted, all activities will be added linked to the proper CLINs, features, and subcontractors. You will also be able to import the activity amounts, descriptions, and other fields related to the pay activities from this SDEF file. For instructions on how to import an SDEF file, please see the link in the description box below. In summary, we discussed the layout of the Pay Activities module, how to add Pay Activities manually and through an SDEF file, how to delete activities, and how to link those activities to CLINs, contractors, and features of work. If there are any technical issues that occur in RMS while attempting to create pay activities or editing those activities, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description of the video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.